He threw his son in the road, but what the bear did was amazing. The father threw his son off the rails, but what the bear did was amazing. An amazing story about how a bear stole a child right in front of his father, thus saving the child from death. Alexa and Nastia got married when they were both 17 years old, which caused all the villagers to attend their wedding ceremony, and everyone was amazed by the great love story that concluded the two who got married. A month after the two got married, Nastia found out that she was pregnant, and then she and her husband were very happy and started preparing to receive their first child. They set aside a small room for the new boy, brought in a wardrobe and a small bed, and bought clothes and toys to welcome him. The couple not only planned to have one child, they wanted more because, as usual, the village family must have many children. When it was time to give birth to Nastia, Alex called his friend that he had to take care of his wife to the hospital, but he told him that his car had broken down. Then the young man became very nervous and immediately called the ambulance. The ambulance arrived so late that Nastia completely collapsed while her husband kept hugging her and trying to calm her down. When the ambulance arrived, the young woman had gone to the hospital where she was immediately transferred to the maternity ward. The young man was waiting. After a few moments, the nurse came out and told him that his wife would not be able to give birth naturally and she would have surgery, which made him more worried. Five hours after the operation, the doctor came out with a pale face and told the husband that his wife died in the operating room and the little boy survived at the last minute. Alexei was shocked when he heard what the doctor said and started screaming with all his might. He couldn't imagine that his wife, whom he loved and with whom he had dreamed of living all his life, was gone forever and would not return, and he ran to the operating room where his baby was crying. The young man didn't want to see his son who was in good health because he considered him the cause of the death of the love of his life and he refused to take it at first in his hands, but the nurses tried to calm him down and told him that the boy needed help. When the doctor noticed that the father was in a difficult psychological state, he asked the nurses not to give him the son because he might hurt him. He then told Alexei that he could go home and come back after a week to take the child. Alexei wasn't thinking about the little boy at all when they called him from the hospital to get his son. He told him that he didn't want to see him and that they should get rid of him. When Nastya's grandmother Natasha Ivanova found out what had happened to her grandson, she went to the hospital and brought her grandson to live with her in her house where she took care of him and brought him everything he needed. Six months passed and the father of the child did not appear, so she completely ignored him and did not admit to what the child from across. Grandma tried to call him and ask him to go see his little one and hold him in his hands because he needed him, but he didn't speak to her and ignored her each time. Once the grandmother decided to see Alexei since she took her grandson in her arms and she left and went to look for him at his house, but she didn't find him there and when she asked about him, one of the neighbors told her that he always went by the railroad track near the woods and sits there. Then the grandmother immediately went to the railway to look for the husband of her granddaughter. When she got there, she found the young man sitting on the railing with a bottle of wine in his hands. He was really drunk. The grandmother approached him and tried to talk to him, but he was almost unconscious and he refused to speak at all. Although she placed his child on his chest, he didn't care. The grandmother lost hope and decided to return to her house. But at that moment, she noticed a teddy bear stuck on the train tracks. As the train was approaching it very quickly, then she put her grandson on the ground and ran to the teddy bear and pulled it off the railway at the last moment the train nearly hit her. Grandma was terrified, but she rejoiced when she realized that she had managed to save the little bear. Meanwhile, a large bear appeared, probably the mother of the little animal. When she approached the grandmother, so the grandmother left the little bear and came back to carry her grandson, and then she quickly ran away from her from that place because she was afraid that the ferocious bear would attack her. Grandma was walking and looking back because the bear and her baby were following her. She didn't understand what they wanted from her since they didn't want to hurt her, otherwise they would rush to catch up to her. Grandma thought they might want to thank her for what she had made of her, but they couldn't find a way to do it. The bear came every day with her cub and would sit in front of Grandma's house for a while, then she would go away. Then Natasha even over-realized that the two animals were peaceful and wanted a friendship with her. She then offered them food and water. She went over to them and gently touched them as her two-old grandson came over and the little bear played with him. 
One day, Father Alexei came to the grandmother's house and told her that he wanted to take his baby because he decided to remarry and wanted to rebuild his life. The news pleased the grandmother very much, and she gave the baby to his father and gave him clothes and things, and then she said goodbye to him with tears in her eyes. The grandmother went every day to visit her grandson, and she was very happy that his father had taken care of him and was planning to marry a young woman she had recently met named Olga. Days passed, and the bear and the little cub did not go to visit Natasha Ivanich's house, which made the grandmother think that they'd move to live somewhere else. But one day, while the grandmother was sitting in the yard of the house, she saw the bear and the baby approaching her house, and they smiled. Sheep eagerly awaited her arrival, and when they got to her, she noticed that the mother bear had something in her mouth. Yes, it was a little boy, and when the bear placed it on the ground, the grandmother approached him, and there she was dumbfounded. The child was her grandson, whom she left days ago with his father. He was calm but exhausted by the way the bear carried him into the house after the grandmother reassured herself about her grandson's condition. She immediately picked him up and went to the police to tell them what had happened, and when the police began to investigate the incident, they discovered that the father Alexei suddenly remembered his ex-wife and got himself drunk and then carried his son into the hands and headed for the railway and he put it there on the iron bars and kept drinking alcohol. Then he lost consciousness and fell asleep on the edge of the track while his son sat on the the tracks, and when the express train approached, the bear intervened and threw the boy away at the last moment, then immediately took him to his grandmother's house and left his father sleeping there. The bear returned the favor for the grandmother that she saved her son months ago and saved her grandson from certain death after his drunken father overlooked him. The police warned Alexei that custody of the son would be taken away from him if he was neglected in the future, but the father regretted what happened and promised them that this would not happen again. He decided to marry his girlfriend Olga right away and they took care of the little boy all the time. Therefore, Alexei decided to stop drinking alcohol completely and began to devote all his time to his son, who became very loved and attached to him. On her part, the bear and her little one returned to visit grandmother Natasha Ivanova at her house. She started spending most of her time at her house.